Hello, another time. This is the second part of my PLL algorithms. Um, well, let's start with a really important one, the T perm. Exchanging these two corners and these two edges. It's really easy and a must-to-know algorithm, definitely, also for, for those who do Pachmann blindfolded. So, it's R U R prime, U prime, R prime, F. R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R U, R prime, F prime. Can be done really fast, like this. And it's important doing the F prime with your thumb. Because if you do it like this, then um, it will cost you a lot of time. Okay, the next one, the Y perm. Seeing these two corners and these two edges. It's actually a combination of two OLLs and <coughs> yeah. So just it's F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F R U R prime U prime R prime U No F sorry R F prime can be done fast but well either you do the, the, the last F prime with this with your thumb or you just do it like Hold it now, hold it like this, and then you can just do this little trick. Yeah. Okay, the V perm. That's a, a nice thing, but notation for it is horrible. So, we'll just do like this. Then turn the cube like this. Do the same again. Now, L2, but lowercase. Then U R prime U R U. There's another way of doing. Um, wait. No, wrong one. Mm. I use it for one-handed. So. Um, yeah, like this. also good yeah okay the ends damn okay um they're easy but bad to perform like this one it's just l u prime r u2 l prime u r prime but twice or um i think you can also do like this No, that was the wrong N. I'm sorry. Well, this N as a uh, you, well, you can solve this N like this, just as I did it, or um, holding it like this. Um, there's also a nice way of doing a J perm like this, yeah. The this J perm. I forgot it the last video, so I'm sorry. Well, like this. It's quite uh, can be done really fast, like by Harris or Nakajima. You, um, I don't know which one's the first name, which one's the last name. I think you is the first name. Well. Not that sure. <laughs> okay, and now the last permutations, the so called G permutations. Combinations of A's and U's. Um, first one, when you have these, uh, when you have the solved um, adjacent pieces on the left, and um, I, I just look at this and at this. If you have uh, opposite colors between these two, then it's the different one. Well, you see it then. So it's. Um, R2 U lowercase u R prime U R prime U R lowercase U prime R2 and inserting the piece. Okay. Ah, lock up. Well, that's what I meant. If you, I just see the pattern like this when it's off the left. I just look here. Well, and then I see. Okay. Uh, because the other time it would be quite like this with the same colors at the uh, 
at the corners there and, but now you have opposite colors between these two so this one is goes like this just the inversion so doesn't matter if you do it like R2 or R2 prime thing of preference um, next one the one where we have it on the ra on the right and the opposite colors here between these two <coughs> and it is also a thing of preference if you well if you do like this or like this well and the last one um, the G where you have the, the solved adjacent piece at on the right and the, the well, I see it quite as a as a tunnel well when you have the same colors here and the edge there um, do it like the same one as the other just mirrored or you can do it like this uh, when you hold it the pieces there but it's just a thing of preference or how the cube is lying to you okay well that's it thanks for watching i hope it helped um yeah till next time